those realtors got everything that they deserved with those lawsuits for charging all those greedy commissions. Listen to this. Where does the National Association of Realtors rank as far as lobbyists go in Washington, D.C.? The National Association of Realtors, NAR, is often ranked as one of the most powerful and influential lobbying groups in Washington, D.C. It regularly ranks at the top in terms of spending and influence, advocating on behalf of real estate professionals and issues related to housing and property rights. What are some of those issues that they advocate for? The National Association of Realtors advocates for a variety of issues, including home ownership incentives, promoting tax benefits like the mortgage interest deduction, property rights, defending against policies that may infringe on homeowners' rights, affordable housing, supporting initiatives to make housing more accessible and affordable, sustainable development, encouraging environmentally friendly building practices, mortgage finance reform, advocating for a secondary mortgage market that provides affordable mortgage options. These efforts aim to benefit both real estate professionals and property owners. Hey, well, what do you know about that? Not a single thing that was mentioned as far as what the National Association of Realtors advocates for. None of it said anything about advocating for real estate agents to get higher, bigger, fatter, juicier commissions. Not a single one of them. Every single thing that was listed was for the benefit of homeowners and property owners and people who want to buy properties, right? This, in my opinion, this whole, all these lawsuits, they have nothing to do with commissions, not a single bit at all. They're just using that as what sounds good to get you property owners and other people to cheer. Yay. Finally, those stupid real estate agents, uh, you know, I don't have to pay them those big fat commissions anymore. We're going to charge them a whole lot less. And if you've been following the news, you know, the guy who initially started all the lawsuits, guess what he did? He started his own real estate company, but that's a whole other thing. Um, so, you know, think about it. You got, they're, they're, they're talking, talked about homeowner incentives, right? So incentives to be a homeowner. The wealth of this nation is built on owning properties. And people argue, well, it's so hard to buy a property these days. Yes, it is. I agree with you. And that has to do with a lot with our economy and a lot of other things. That's not the argument here. Uh, but as a property owner, there's, you know, they, they would fight for tax benefits. I know here in California, we've had Prop Proposition 13, which help keep property taxes manageable so that seniors are not pushed out of their homes because they can't afford the property taxes when the property when the property value goes up and the, under the guise of oh well let's get the old people out of those houses so new families can move into the houses no build more houses that's the solution uh but no we have all these you know over regulated uh, uh things that prevent us from from building houses property rights owning property right if you have your property rights taken away because this national association of realtors gets wiped off of the planet here because of all of the lawsuits, who's going to stand there on your behalf as a homeowner, as a property owner, as somebody who wants to buy a property? Because we even talked about affordable housing, right? And like coming up with first-time buyer programs and that sort of thing, supporting initiatives to make housing more accessible and affordable. So they fight on the on behalf of the people who own properties, but also on the behalf of the people who are buying, who aspire to be a property owner and own real estate and help build their wealth, their generational wealth for their families. Take them out. And aside from everybody standing around on the corner in their block going, gosh, I can't believe my property taxes are so high. Gosh, I can't believe we can't do this with our own house or with our own property, with our own investments, uh, because there's nobody there to stand in the gap for us, well, then you will wish that the National Association of Realtors was still there. So I, I you know, I feel like that there's something behind all of this, uh, just as a way, like so many other things that are going on right now that just aren't right, but it looks like there's somebody behind it. They're trying to push them out so that they can get to you, the property owner, so what do you think?